So, hi, I'm here with Letty Aronson, the producer of Midnight in Paris, and Corey Stoll, one of the cast members who plays Hemingway, uh, just ahead of, of our, of our uh, Q&A at the rap screening. So tell us, Letty, um, how did you get involved in producing Woody's movies? I understand you're his sister. Yes, and I got involved uh, years ago, starting with Bullets Over Broadway, and have done every film since then. That's wonderful. How, how uh, much fun was making this movie? It looks like a dream. <laughs> no, it, it was great, but it was a lot of night shooting. Mm -hmm. a lot of, a lot which of made it hard. Which, which makes it hard, yes. Woody usually never shoots at night. Mm -hmm. So this was quite different because many nights we were shooting till 2, 3 in the morning. And how did you um, manage as a producer? It had to be very challenging to to create a, a, a period film with all of that entails. I mean, Paris as a city has lots of modern architecture on top of all the beautiful old architecture and all of that. How did you, how did you does, deal with that? But you know, in Europe, in the European cities, there are many neighborhoods and streets that, that are completely untouched. So it's actually much easier there to mm -hmm. find you know, various locations. Mm -hmm. that, did, uh, were you surprised at the topic, the, the, the nostalgia, the trip back in time? You know, I wasn't surprised script? at the topic. Uh, I was surprised that so many people took to it. You know, it seems more obscure. Hmm. Oh, I th well, it's just, it, it's been, I think, his most successful film in 20 years, financially, right? Financially. Yeah, 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 amazing. So, Corey, you play Hemingway. And you really just seem to have the most fun with this role. Tell us a little bit about how you got the role and sort of how you approached playing, playing him. Um, well, uh, uh, Woody saw me in a play, uh -huh. and it was it was um, a View from the Bridge by Arthur Miller, and, and I was playing this incredibly manly, honorable uh, uh, this Italian immigrant, and uh, had this great wig and this mustache, and I think I was sort of. Uh, did you, did you audition? In, I did. Uh, I came in. I didn't know. I didn't know it was an audition. Um, I, I, you know, because sometimes he just sort of looks you up and down and says, "Thanks, nice to meet you." I, I, I've heard, but uh, he had. He had <laughs> That's true. He had, he had two pages of dialogue. He handed me, and it said Hemingway, and I was like, "Oh my God!" And, you know, I didn't know if, Hemingway. Hemingway. Yeah, I don't know. It was just like you know, you know, Doug Hemingway, or. You know, um, but it was Hemingway. Hemingway. In a way, I mean, it's still <laughs> there's a fantasy. Well, you're playing it for it. you're playing it for comedy too. It's yeah, yeah, and I think well, and, and I mean, hopefully, um, it's not all. I mean, you know, it, it is, and you know, I had a couple months to prepare for it, and so I read and read and read, and um, I was really, I had been soaking in Hemingway for a couple months, and so sort of forgot that I was doing a comedy, and I showed up. It's a Woody Allen movie. It is the Hemingway and a Woody Allen movie, not just Hemingway. And so, uh, so what did you do? You sort of I, you know, took, so it, I, took it up a notch, or well, I, I, I took him that much more serious. I think there's really nothing funnier than somebody who takes themselves too seriously. So, and and it, and the rest was all there in the in the script and in everybody's perceptions. I mean, that's the other thing that I was, you know, Woody's direction was constantly to do less and I think um, that was smart for two reasons one what's funny about Hemingway in particular is how stripped down he is how stripped down his, his prose is but also uh, people have this so many perceptions and, 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 and preconceptions about uh, Hemingway and it'll, it gives them space to sort of project onto him mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. onto me Mm -hmm. That's it's really fun. Was it intimidating to do these scenes with, let's say, Marianne Cotillard, and um, you know, and you're playing across from all these great literary figures and artistic figures? Yes, incredibly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> in, a, in a word, yes. But what was great about it was I was playing the most confident man who's ever lived on the face of the earth. At least that was the image. I, you know, Hemingway really wasn't, but. He well, faked that, it awfully well. Exactly. The Hemingway I was playing was was really good at faking being confident. So I it gave me license to, even though I was, you know, you know, 
very intimidated, especially the first the first day on set. I just said, "Well, what happened? What was your first scene?" My first scene was this scene where I bring um, Owen to uh, uh, Gertrude Stein's house. Oh, you only have to play with Kathy Bates, no problem. Well, yeah, it was also <laughs> Kathy Bates and also uh, Mary Cotillard. Mm-hmm. You, you know, and so it's just you know these. You, you, Same as you a, see a these quick, two Academy A quick shot of a whiskey just, before you start. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, I, I sort of felt like everybody was in the same position because nobody gets enough rehearsal. Mm-hmm. And uh, you're just sort of thrown out there. And so everybody's sort of, there's this great... Right now, and we don't rehearse really at all. Yeah, I mean, it's really just enough rehearsal so that uh, the camera knows right, where right, to right be. Right on and, the set. Yeah. When nobody comes early to rehearse. Amazing. So, Letty, what's been some of the, the most uh, common reactions you've had to the film from friends or the, uh, you know, people you meet? I guess what surprised me most is that I run into a lot of people who said they went to see the movie and then they brought their children back to mm. see it. That surprised me. Uh, that's a whole new audience for us. Yeah. yeah. I brought my son tonight, by the way. Oh, I see that. <laughs> Great. Okay. Thanks, you guys, so much. Thank you. Thank